Hello, this is Ian Stevenson, and this is the video walkthrough of the 2010 Sea Ray 370 Sundancer. As you can see, this is a very, very clean, clean boat for the year, equipped with twin inboard V drive gas engines. The transom of the boat is very well suited for the sandbar right there at the dock with a rear facing jump seat and two very large aft spa facing speakers. Remote freshwater flushes at the transom accompanied by side entry walkthrough and stern shower make this a very feasible boat for a long range excursion or just locally at the sandbar. Let's take a step forward. The boat overall length is 37 feet with an optional swim platform that can be added at the transom. Still very easy to board as I gain entry to the back. The jump seat is convertible to be stowed. Transom entry walkthrough accompanied by ample storage and step along the gunnel to the bow. As you can see it's very wide foot over foot and guide rails to get you to the bow section. The cockpit arrangement is very, very spacious and open. Previous customer added an extended aft bimini with full enclosure camper curtains. Storage under all the cockpit area, cockpit table, and great access to the engine below with an a hydraulic uh, cylinder raising and lowering this platform. A really nice feature on this boat is the cockpit air conditioning that is, has a remote here and is activated with the uh, transfer 110 power below. Air conditioning vents throughout, making it very comfortable even on those nice hot days. Cockpit refrigerator and grill up on top, as well as uh, cockpit television here up on the uh, area. Hard top, which is standard equipment on this model and a very nice arrangement for the captain, co-captain seating adjustable and this whole apparatus turns and swivels to face aft uh, for those nice sandbar parties out there we're all so familiar with. Facing the console and the helm, updated electronics 12 inch Garmin screens, autopilot, VHF, Sony stereo with USB port, plenty of uh, electronics and, and goodies for those that like the, the most updated, the best equipment. This boat is also equipped with DTS, digital throttle and shift electronic uh, drives to the engines. So no more of the, uh, the shifting cables that we're also used to. This is an electronic system. The boat itself has about 255 hours, very low for the year. No bow thruster on this boat, but it's uh, small enough that you can easily pivot off a of piling. Very easy to maneuver if you're familiar. If not, one of our captains will happily assist. Let's take a step down into the cabin. As you approach the cabin, you'll notice these nice teak steps leading down wood flooring which would have been an option at the time and this is your Ford berth reclinable berth about the size of a queen size bed to starboard and port sides you have hanging closet storage access to your AV system here with the iPhone or iPad jack individual reading lights overhead lighting and to the port side, another great closet. This does have a privacy curtain uh, to separate the forward berth. The galley is about a third the space of the overall cabin. Uh, plenty of space to do that on water cooking, stainless steel basin, stainless steel sink, and electronic stove top. Hull side windows making this uh, not as claustrophobic as one might think while down in the cabin, just some natural lighting. It's very bright in here. To make our step back, we'll head to the head, which is a separated shower head door, 
very handy keeping everything nice and dry in this area while someone's showering in this area. Uh, port hatch windows making it very spacious and you don't have to worry about that, uh, that smelly air. Aft is the mid-berth. We also have custom canvas for this boat, carpeting that's been stowed for the cockpit area up top, and this is your second berth uh, for the boat. What you're looking at here is the TV in the mid-berth area, and you also have a privacy curtain as well. To the starboard side, you'll have your panel. The generator hours on this boat are 100 and 172, and uh, very easy to transfer from shore power to your generator systems. Up top here is your AV system. Again, Sony, USB, iPod capability. You also have the DISH network capability on here, uh, panel, Glomex, uh, antenna. And if you want to stream the Netflix on this boat, that's very easy to do with the AV cable. Again, uh, massive amounts of storage underneath, hull side windows, plenty of storage up top. In, uh, in Express, this has the windows actually on the top of the decking shining through, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights in the uh, top. This full side bench seat opposed to the galley, very spacious where you can do some nice comfortable eating in the air conditioning down in the cabin. About seven feet of headroom down in this cabin. Let's take a step back up to the cockpit. Entry to the bow is done right on these integrated steps. Taking a look to the bow, you have remote windlass and spotlight. Also, uh, on the Express, you have the speakers, grab rails, and plenty of space to get up to the bow via port and starboard sides. Thank you for watching the video walkthrough of the Sea Ray 2010 370 Sundancer. This is Ian Stevenson, and we'll see you next time.